Hey YouTubers, Shell Silver here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about alcohol stoves. This particular design uses uh, soda cans, the bottom of two soda cans squeezed together. There's some holes drilled around the top and some fill holes built in the middle. I'm going to link a video down below to some people who show you how to build this design. It works great and it's a fun build. Certainly not my invention. If you look up these alcohol stoves on YouTube, you see there's lots of people building them. And there's a lot of kind of a heated competition about how efficient they can burn. Uh, so I think the standard test is how quickly can you boil two cups of cold water with the least amount of fuel. This design here holds about 1.5 ounces of fuel. And it'll burn two cups of water in about seven minutes. Mm, seven and a half, eight minutes. Uh, and it'll continue to boil that water for about three or four more minutes. It's great for camping. If you have uh, um, ready camping meals, you want to make coffee or tea or uh, ramen noodles or something, this works perfect. But I had this can. It's just a simple um, tin can, simple steel can, I believe. I bought this, uh, a candle came in this can. Once the candle was used up, it laid around the house. I used it for storing things in it. But I thought, this is a pretty good size for alcohol stove. So what I've done, is I've drilled 16 holes around the top, through the lid and through the top. The holes are 1 16th inch diameters. Um, it holds two ounces of fuel and it will boil two cups of cold water in about six minutes. So pretty good start there. But not only will it boil that, this simple design, nothing complicated, not only will it boil two cups of water in six minutes, but it continues to burn for 34 minutes afterwards. So not only can you cook your ramen noodles, make your coffee, boil water for your camping meals, your dehydrated camping meals, but this thing will cook and cook and cook and continue to cook for 40 minutes of cook time with only two ounces of alcohol. I think that's pretty impressive for a simple can stove like this, it required almost no design, just drill holes in it, and fill it full of alcohol and light it and burns for 40 minutes. You say you don't believe it? Well, let me show you. Okay, first we're going to measure out two ounces of fuel. There we go. So we have two ounces of um, denatured alcohol fuel. Be careful with this, I don't want to spill it on my scale. It does produce quite a bit of heat, so you're probably going to need something to place it on. I use this aluminum disc that I cast one half of my wobbler toy that I cast from aluminum. It works great for protecting my table. All right, so um, here I've got two cups of cold water right from the tap into my pot. I got me a stopwatch set up here so we can keep track of our time. This is my pot holder. It sits over the stove like so. It holds my pot just the right distance above the flames. Two ounces of alcohol. Let me pop it back open so you can see. So you can see our two ounces of alcohol. It goes right up to that little, right up to that little rim. Get that going here. This is my two cups of water. Show you guys I'm not cheating here. I've got my thermal camera 
show that that's room temperature water well 70 degree water see how uh, my hand is 86 and that water is starting off at 70 degrees I'm not gonna make any cuts in this video so that because people cheat <laughs> people cheat I'm not gonna cheat all right so we've got our uh, two cups of water room temperature let me set my thermal camera back up all right let's show you this so we're uh, starting off uh, the stoves at 82 degrees all right let me get my thermal camera actually recording here It's gonna be cool. Alright, thermal cameras rolling, regular cameras rolling. Let me get my stopwatch up here so you can see it. Alright. Stop stopwatch up here. Cat grow. My cat needs to get outside. Go on, kitty. All right. I'm going to turn the lights off because the flames are really blue at first, and I want you to be able to see the flames. So it's going to look a little dark. Here's how I light my stove. I just give it a little shaky shake, and a little bit of that fuel will drip out around the edge of the can, and we'll ignite it. What's got to happen is that alcohol has got to get up to boiling temperature because it's the vapors that, that are expelled through the holes are what actually burns. You can hear the alcohol start to boil in there maybe. And I should be getting a little bit of flamey jets at the top here soon. Sometimes it takes two or three, maybe four times prominent to get it to go. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's cool. It's oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. That little bead of alcohol flame is going around in circles. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I'll give you a little shaky shake. There we go. Nice bloom. Okay. I want to make sure it's up to speed before I start my timer here. Hold her on. Okay. Start. Water on. Makeshift lid on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Well, I've maxed out the uh, thermal camera. You can only go to measure up to uh, 626 degrees. But I'm going to move this camera. Let's see, you really need to be able to see the stopwatch. Let's do this.
hat number two needs out. Come in. Come, Toby. Okay. So I'm rolling now. Coming up on the uh, two minute, 10 second mark. minutes 40 seconds. Typically I should get this to boil around six minutes. That beep was my th my phone which my thermal camera plugs into is running low battery. So you don't really need the thermal camera running the whole time. That's just gonna be a boring shot there. So we'll pause thermal camera. We'll turn our overhead lights back on. Four minutes, 20 seconds. bubbly but not boiling yet. Four minutes, 40 seconds. Ah, stupid iPod. Five minutes, 25 seconds. I start to hear something in there. All right, so there's your time, 5.30. Take a peek. Look at that, babies. Five minute, 30 second boil. Amazing. Oh, I steamed up my camera. Okay, five minute, 30 second boil. That's pretty amazing. Now, well, <laughs> how long will it cook? How long will it cook? I'm interested. Let's do a little uh, fire up my thermal camera again here. Take a temperature reading. Let's see. My aluminum plate down there below is. Yes. Yeah, 142, 160 degree the side of the can. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that was I was looking at the reflection. <laughs> it's hard to see. Whoa, that's weird the reflection of that. Okay, so there's my aluminum plate. My aluminum plate is 189. The fuel tank is on the exterior is about 160. Those flames are Pushing 600 degrees. Let's take a look at the water. The boiling water. Huh. Whoa. Whoa, it looks like the surface of the sun. <laughs> hmm. Well, the thermal camera is not showing that water at the boiling point Fahrenheit. Yeah, maybe the uh, measurement on my Seek thermal camera is not as accurate as I thought. We'll do some testing with that later. But it's definitely cooking beans and rice, baby. So we're 8 minutes, 15 seconds in. Let's get you a view down below and let you see what's happening here. Looks like a gas stove. It's just got that nice little blue flame, those little jets coming around. Evenly, nice and evenly spaced. Let's 
gonna burn for a while, it's gonna be a boring video. <laughs> it's like watching paint dry, watching water boil. This stove here, it holds, hmm, I'd say like a little less than an ounce and a half. It typically would be burning out about right now. That's the luck I've had with this. Nice heavy rolling bowl in there. Twelve minutes. Fourteen minutes. You want to take a look inside? Cooking babies. It's kind of pulsating. I think it's because I'm kind of near my air conditioning vent. I think that's what's causing it to pulse, maybe. I don't know, with the air blowing across it, it may. It may burn the fuel up a little a little quicker with the air blowing across it like that. If you're using this for camping, you can create a windscreen with some aluminum foil that you wrap around the pot holder and you can leave it open or closed as much as you need. The table's warm here, but not, not too bad. Seventeen minutes in, I've still got a heavy rolling boil. Coming up on 20 minutes. This thing just keeps cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking. Mm. Like I was saying, I'm, I'm kind of new to alcohol stoves. So, uh, hopefully this will catch the attention of some of the guys who've been 
designing and trying to figure out the best stove, the most efficient design. I think this is pretty impressive though. Nice blue flame. You see, it's, it's, the flame has died down considerably, but it's still pouring out the BTU. And the steam is rolling from the pot. Going on there. Coming up on 25 minutes. Definitely rolling bowl in there, big time. So it's coming up on 27 and a half minutes. That's 22 minutes of boiling. We got water, got two cups of water boiling after five and a half minutes. And it's been boiling now for 22 minutes. I do believe it's heated up the room a little bit in here even. My phone's dead, no more thermal video. That's 30 minutes in. Can you believe it? Thirty minutes in. Thirty minutes. Thirty seconds. That's twenty-five minutes of boiling water. It's going strong. Steaming away. Alright, so we're coming up on 35 minutes. Still very significant flames in there. I'll just let you look at the water. Still nice and rolling and boil in there. Cook some eggs or some potatoes. Some spaghetti. Thirty-six minutes. I know this is so very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with that, though. All right, now I can see some really significantly reduced flame action in there. It's 
16 smaller blue flames. Still, the 16 small flames are still putting out a ton of heat though. That's 38 minutes. Okay, believe it or not, this stove has been running, lit off two ounces of fuel for 40 minutes. It's 40 minutes. Forty minutes and counting. So 40 minutes and 30 seconds. That's 35 minutes of boiling water. Stitch the light for a second so you can get a good idea of how much flame's left. Yeah, that much flame is really only simmer strength. The boiling water now is just kind of residual heat. It's hot enough to keep it boiling for a while, but I am starting to run out of fuel. Alright, I can hear the metal cooling down and flame is out. Flame out. Forty one minutes. That stove ran for forty one minutes. 36 minutes of boiling water with two ounces of alcohol. And that little metal can alcohol stove. Super duper simple design. Just a can with holes punched around the top. Well, thanks for watching my alcohol stove demonstration video. I hope you liked it. If you did, then you can please click like. You know, take the time to click the like. It really helps my channel. Uh, thanks to all of my new subscribers. If you've got friends that you think might like to check out this video, then please share it. If you've got comments, suggestions, or questions, are you an alcohol stove expert? Those things go below. And subscribe to my channel. But... That's right. Only if you think I earned it. I just give it a little shaky shake.